you guys. Welcome back to the DIY Designer. Thanks for joining me for another week, another fantastic DIY. Today, we are going straight up 70s. We're making bell bottoms. I'm actually really excited. <coughs> That's better. Did I mention it's no sew? <laughs> it is a totally no sew project. All we're gonna use is fabric glue. Mmm. This is something I've done since I was in middle school. I used to do this to jeans because I always felt like it was more flattering to have like a boot or a bell bottom cut on the bottom of my jeans just because I'm kind of short, I'm only 5'4", and I always felt like my legs looked chubby in skinny jeans or whatever, so I used to do this all the time, and I love that it's back. 70s are back in a big way, and I'm not talking about like a little hint of it here and there, like straight up. 70s hair, makeup, styling, silhouettes, prints, fabrics, the whole deal, walking down the runways. Um, you can see all these photos here. This is such a great representation of it. And it's chic and sexy and really, really fabulous. And even with new shows like American Woman coming out that are placed in the 70s, um, you're gonna see even more. So this is really fun and a really great thing that you guys can do with jeans that you already own. So the first thing that you have to do is you have to go shopping for a pair of donor jeans. All right going to the thrift store to look for a match for my jeans now really the only thing I need is something where the color is fairly similar and in a perfect world where the thread is similar because I'm gonna be cutting directly off the hem of another pair of jeans and inserting it into our new jeans so you just want to try to make sure that it looks as seamless as possible similar color similar thread um, that's kind of what we want There's a lot to pick from. And size doesn't matter either, because of course, all we're using is the hem. I forgot I could do men's jeans, because it doesn't matter what they look like. These were the jeans that I had that I knew I was gonna start with. Now they're basically just a straight leg jean. They're fine, they're great, but I've got a lot of jeans like them, so this is a perfect one to have some fun with. And these are my donor jeans. I ended up finding them in the men's section, which is a great reminder that when you're working with just the denim, it doesn't matter where you get it. They can be jean shorts if that's all the denim that you need, or they can be menswear, it really doesn't matter. Just as long as the denim is a similar color and the thread on the bottom is a similar color. That's really all that we need. We're gonna get started. that you're gonna do is try on your jeans and place a pin just at the bottom of your knee. That's exactly where we're gonna cut open to. Line up your two jeans together and use the first pin as a mark for your second pin. That way we cut open our jeans evenly. Now a lot of people like to put their panel on the outside of the jeans. I don't recommend that unless you're doing like a really fun pop of color. I like to go along the inseam. So take your super sharp fabric scissors and cut them all along the inseam as close to the edge as possible going all the way up to that pin. Now it's open, you're gonna do the identical thing to the left, making sure that they're perfectly even. There you go, we've got them both open, ooh la la. Now we're gonna move these off to the side for the time being and grab our donor jeans. I recommend cutting the back panel of the jeans. The back of jeans are always just a little bit wider than the front, which gives us more room to work with. I'm cutting up the side seam and double checking with my regular jeans about how large I really need my panel. Once you've got that, you're just gonna slice it across, which is gonna give you a, a large panel of jeans. You're gonna do the same to the other leg because obviously we have two bell bottoms to create. Save that jean, that's great jean. Throw that in your craft closet. Forgot to mention we need pins, by the way. So now you wanna open up your jeans and lay the inseam straight down the center. You're going to start by pinning the hem to the hem. That's the most important part. And as wide as your panel is, that's as wide as your bell bottom can go. You don't have to make it that wide, but it can't get any bigger than that. I'm gonna put my hand on the inside and make sure that everything feels like it's laying really flat and putting my pins in, I don't know, about every two inches or so. Double check that the slope looks really natural and before you move on to your next jean, look at how wide your overlap is. You wanna match that overlap so that our right and our left jean are equal in size. Double check with the ruler if you need and if you realize that one is a little bigger than the next, just take out a pin, adjust it, and put it back in. Now, try them on. Okay, I just tried them on. They're looking really cute. However, I did want to cut up a little higher. I kind of like wussed out and I didn't open up the leg 
all the way to the knee. So it looked a little weird. It looked tight at the knee and then it went out. I wanted a gradual bell. So I did, I just cut up two more inches and because I gave myself plenty of denim, it was no problem. Now you're gonna take your fabric glue and we're gonna glue these down. You wanna put the nozzle just underneath the edge of the fabric. Don't use too much glue because when you do press down, you don't want that glue to be pushing out onto the denim we're gonna see. It will leave a residue. So just use a little bit of glue and make sure to pat down. Take a little extra time on the hem because that's where it would start to fall apart if it would. And you also wanna work on the top corner. Those are the really important parts. So just give a little extra glue. Now remove your pins and let it dry. Once it's dry, flip it inside out. You're gonna see we have these two extra large panels. So take your fabric scissors and pull back any denim that's free. Anything that's not glued down is free to be cut. So just cut off that excess. And what you'll end up with are these two interior triangles. It's okay that they're gonna be raw edge because they're on the inside and no one's gonna see them, but this is what it should look like. Okay, they are done. I'm gonna go try them on. <laughs> Let's see what they look like. 